solution for this example. So what we need is at a point in time we need to catch up any outstanding interest charges and then continue from there. It's always a good idea to start the formula close to where you know the situation is. So we've got an interest holiday of 3 which means that we're not going to pay there, there or there. But over here we expect to pay these 4 months and then move on. So we're going to build an if function. So the first part is fine. We can do an if function. And we're going to say, is the cell we're in equal to, or the period we're in equal to, our interest holiday plus one? You'll see we've put dollar signs in there. If it is, then I think we must just take any interest charge. So I'm going to do this. Okay, but the important thing here is I'm going to tell it it must always start at F15, put my dollar signs in, and it must continue for as far as we go. So if we change this, it will move on. If it's false, for now I'm just going to put zero. I just want to see what happens there. So I'm going to say equals. So that looks about right. We need to put a negative sign in. So I'm going to put a negative sign. If I go to the left, Okay, you'll see it gives me zero, so I expect that. If I go to the right, okay, you can see that's zeros. I don't really want that. I actually need this. Once we go past the holiday, it must now just match the interest. So this zero here is a problem. We need to build another if in in this case. So what we're going to say over here is I'm going to say if the cell we're in or the month we're in is bigger than whatever you see here, plus the 1, then please be minus whatever the interest charge is, otherwise 0. We should be able to close it. So let's go to the left. Okay, so that's still working out correctly. Let's go to the right. Okay, again, we shouldn't have put a minus in there because we've already got the minus here. So let's see. Okay, so that's looking okay. So I'm going to copy it all the way across. So it looks like it's working out. In the first month after the holiday, we make a big payment to catch up. You'll see we go to back to the 100,000. Now what we should be able to do is the capital repayment should simply be equals to our calculation over here should be able to copy and paste. Okay. What we haven't taken into account here is that we've got a capital holiday so we can only start repaying from month 5. So what I'm going to say is put another if in here. So if this here is bigger than whatever's in there. Look down at the capital portion otherwise put a 0 copy and paste it and what you'll see now is we have a calculation which allows us at point where the capital rep the interest repayment must be caught up it catches up we get back to our starting value and then we repay and we get back exactly to what we expect to be and we can if we need to change interest rates and make ad hoc withdrawals or payments